Oh, hello there. Were you just admiring how uh, broken the infiltrator was? Yeah, me too. So uh, let's get into this real quick. We'll also be talking about that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Alright, so welcome to the infiltrator tier list. So obviously some of you guys liked my dry humor in my previous video that I made about something like this. So uh, I'm just going to try it again and uh, we're going to see how it goes. But basically... Um, someone <clears throat> someone decided to uh, post a video about how Infiltrator was balanced on the subreddit, and so uh, obviously I caught on to this, uh, and so that's why I'm making this video now, because uh, if a lot of people want to post Infiltrator videos, sure, I'm, I guess I'll post an Infiltrator video as well. So that's how we got to this point, and that's what this video is about. This video is about the infiltrator and the arguments for leaving infiltrator the way that it is essentially and obviously this list uh this list starts at b instead of s because there are no s or a tier arguments for leaving infiltrator the way that it is so if you came for that you can exit the video now but anyway let's get into it so the first argument that we have here is <laughs> oh wait uh whoops that's that's the wrong file uh it's it's this is just a poll that says that infiltrator is the most annoying pl class to play against so i mean i guess we can put that on the list here somewhere but whatever sorry wrong file anyway uh the first one, one that we have here is get good so yeah spoiler alert i did forget to say that most of you guys will know all of these arguments already because they've appeared multiple times on the subreddit and basically everywhere else such as yell chat and anywhere else you can find people uh, talking about Infiltrator, essentially. So, yeah, the first one is obviously get good. Um, y I mean, it's not that good of an argument, considering that, you know, I could I could make this argument about, uh, you know, people whining about the heavy assault or whatever. I could, I could make this about people uh, basically saying anything about anything in the game. So, like, if you're... If you're getting killed by that uh, A to G ESF, uh, get good. You're getting killed by that heavy assault, like I just said, get good. Uh, you're getting killed by that max suit over and over again, uh, get good. You're getting killed by that one infiltrator, uh, get good. You're getting killed by whatever, you know, the Bastion, the Liberator, anything. Get good. So, obviously, this isn't really that good of an argument, considering y you can make it about basically anything. Uh but you know it's you know somewhat smart obviously so that's why we're going to put it in uh f tier like i said guys i'm only trying to take the best arguments here so the next one is obviously going to be good player makes x thing look good so for example good player makes this infiltrator look good because he's a good player uh so let me just spin this real quick so watch this good players only make the Beetlejuice look good. It's not actually that good. So, like I said, you can uh, you can make this about anything. You know, good players make uh, A to G look good because they're good players. Good players make the, uh, I don't know, an SMG look good. Good players make an LMG look good. Good players make sniper rifles look good. You know, it's just uh, one of those generic arguments that you can make pretty much about anything and uh, not really anything very specific. So... Like I said, we only take the smartest arguments here. That's why this is going in F tier. So I had to get a little bit creative with this next one, obviously, because I couldn't really find an exact screenshot of somebody saying this exact thing, but I know you and I have both heard this before, and I didn't really care to check. So basically, Infiltrator is balanced because it has 900 HP instead of 1,000. So the problem with this is that it's not really well thought out because infiltrator has access to a heavy assault sheet i mean nano armor cloaking so there's that there's also the fact that infiltrator can just equip carapace and have a thousand hp of just straight health instead of 900 total hp with shields and health so not really well thought out obviously f tier so this next one is kind of inevitable when we're talking about the Infiltrator and how busted it is. It's basically along the lines of, if Infiltrator is as good as you say it is, then just use it all the time. And uh, truth is, we kind of do, and we usually just use it to get a bunch of Rage Tells because it's funny seeing how busted this class is, 
and then everybody wanting to pretend that it's not busted even though obviously a lot of people get mad at it and uh again it's the least fun class to play against but that's beside the point uh so we do play it we we do play it a lot uh but most of the time we usually just like to play any other class like light assault uh medic engineer heavy assault so it's, it's also the same reason why we don't always play the max suit because it gets kind of boring and the only reason why you'd want to play it is just you know for the lulls i guess if you want to say that so again kind of really misses the point about why the infiltrator is busted so f tier so if you made it this far in the video without leaving a comment about how balanced infiltrator is uh congratulations uh because it's about to get spicy so the next one we got is basically just see the infiltrator bro i know it's super spicy and the reason it's super spicy is because we can actually have some fun with this and we can actually experiment with this using actual footage so i got a couple of clips here for you guys and we're going to play a game and this is why it's going to be this is why it's going to get spicy so your objective is to spot the infiltrator before you die and right before you die is when i'm going to stop the video and see if you guessed exactly where the infiltrator is all right ready so this is the first clip I mean, it's kind of funny because I don't even really think I have to ask this, but did you see where the infiltrator was? No, you didn't. Exactly. So I know that 99.999% of you didn't notice where the infiltrator was. So that's kind of the point. And uh, here's the answer. Uh, by the way, you're just dead now. So congratulations. Uh, here's the uh, here's the next one. So uh, see if you can spot the infiltrator in this one. So the fun part about this game is that I know exactly where you guys are looking. You guys are looking right about here for the infiltrator, right? Well, congratulations. You're wrong, and now you're dead. Sorry, man. You should have just noticed the infiltrator, bro. You, that that's all you. That's what you should have done, man. You should have uh, equipped a dark light or something, even though you never would have pointed the dark light at the infiltrator in the first place. But anyway, beside the point. Uh, the next clip I have for you guys is actually. Uh, my own infiltrator clip and uh, I think this is pretty indicative of why just see the infiltrator bro isn't exactly a relevant argument so I need you guys to take a second and realize that one this is not a new player and two I can almost certainly bet you that his graphics settings whatever you want to say are higher than mine probably medium high whatever but i can guarantee you that they're not playing on the same graphics as me and they probably have a different vision of what they're seeing as infiltrator when they look at me compared to what i see as infiltrator when i'm looking at another infiltrator so i just want you guys to notice that he was looking directly at me and even fired a shotgun shot i believe directly at me or where i'm supposed to be he missed and then he proceeds to walk right by me, even though I cloaked directly in front of him. So this basically encompasses the entire argument. And uh, it's it's obviously, as you can see, not really that good of an argument. Even in this case, even if he had a dark light, he still would not have been able to react to me. And I would have known that he had a dark light because obviously he's pointing it at me. So I would have just killed him faster in that case so again it doesn't really work so both of these are obviously in f tier so this last one is pretty much not about the cloak or the one hit weapons it's about the last thing in the trifecta that the infiltrator has which is the motion darts and the sr-71 blackbird that it has in its back pocket so basically the counter to that is obviously sensor shield right so i mean yeah, this is a better argument, at least, for why Infiltrator is balanced. I mean, Sensor Shield counters that entire aspect of it, right? I mean, ex except for the fact that other players can also spot you, and just as easily, the Infiltrator will see you either way. So, kind of makes it slightly irrelevant, but, I mean, yeah, I'm not denying that it's useful, but it it's still not as helpful as, say, having another implant that does something else that helps you in a better way so yeah like i said we're only taking the smartest arguments here so uh that's why it's f tier 2
And with that, congratulations. You have made it through the Infiltrator Arguments tier list video, uh, in which case you are not the target audience because the target audience probably quit the video about eight minutes ago and left probably left a totally nice comment about why Infiltrators are totally balanced. So with that being said, we're now going to talk about the deep op problem and what could be done to better balance infiltrators. So the deep op problem is essentially what you've been seeing in the intro and what you're seeing right now. So when you put on deep op, you essentially can uncloak and instantly fire. And obviously in terms of one hit weapons, that's not really too much of a big deal because they're one hit weapons. You're probably going to die anyway. The problem is when they're equipped to SMG infiltrators and stalker infiltrators because when you have half a second to decloak, that obviously gives your uh, opponent some type of advantage because they can hear you uncloak. However, if they're hearing you uncloak and you're shooting them at the same time, that's obviously going to decrease your time to kill on them and that's pretty much the issue at hand uh, and that's the deep operative problem in a nutshell i don't know how rpg hasn't fixed this yet but i really wish it were fixed and that's basically how it works so rpg if you could uh if you could fix that that'd be nice but fixing the infiltrator as a whole though obviously requires a little bit more nuance because there's a bunch of different factors and blah 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 but if you guys will allow me for a sec, I would just like to throw in my two cents because I think these solutions are fairly minor, but I think they would make the class feel a, a bit different and in a good way. So I think the first solution that's really good is to just make it so that the stalker infiltrator is the only one that can go into a semi-invisible state. And what I mean by that is that stalker infiltrators are clearly the ones that are supposed to be, you know, sitting around and doing stalking. That's their entire job, right? So I don't get why an SMG infiltrator or a bolter can use hunter cloak or nano armor cloaking to just sit in a corner. I've never really gotten that. So I think this would be a very easy solution. Just make it so that those two infiltrators the nano arm cloak and the hunter cloak make it so that when they're crouching they still have a walking cloak if you get what i'm saying one of the other solutions that i like and obviously i'm not even the first one to come up with this is just increase the time it takes to cloak and uncloak it's fairly simple just make it so that infiltrators have to be more careful about where they cloak and where they uncloak and, I mean, obviously you could set this differently for Stalker Infiltrator. You you might even set it differently for the Hunter or Nano Armor Cloaking. But essentially just make it longer so that people have to make a, a decision on whether or not to cloak behind a wall before they engage somebody or stay cloaked and try to let them pass. And obviously these are only two solutions. Uh, one of the other solutions that is pretty relevant is to just nerf the nano armor cloaking a little bit so that it's not as powerful but other than that you don't even have to tie these two solutions together you could just do one or the other but again i'm just kind of throwing out ideas here and it's ultimately up to rpg and whatever else they want to do with the game so those are, that's my two cents uh hope you guys enjoyed the meme video and uh if you guys like the solutions or if you have your own solutions, I mean, be sure to leave them in the comments below. So uh, that's pretty much it. So have a good day, guys, and thanks for watching.